because you were in a federal building and these are all regular okay. civilians. You're not allowed to film in a federal building. What are you making? You came here. We're not good. You said we're good. I don't know. I just, you know, I mean, I'm I'm new to the whole business game. I just want to yes. make sure that I don't have any, you know, any issues and, you know, I just want to make sure that it's that, you know, you're not doing anything that you shouldn't. I don't know. And you're not going to share the information why. My job is boring. Yep. Okay, and you don't have a business card? No, we do not. How can I help you today? I don't need help. At least take that. Thank you. Some people are kind of nervous of it because they're doing their little tests over there, so. Nice day. Definitely writing down my description. So I don't think she passed her test. She's very sad right now. All right. Uh, I gathered a lot from that. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you have any identification? I absolutely do. Can I see it? Absolutely not. Who are you? Who are you? Live in a communist country. So why are you wearing a mask and sunglasses and a hat? Can they ask what you do? You can't party in the state of California. You, you are you are consent. wrong, and that's for wiretapping laws and phones. That's not wiretapping. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I can do this. I have to record both of my phone Just trying to get a reaction. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are we doing? We're closed. Hi. You are currently being recorded. Everything is on camera now. These days, cameras are recording our every move, and now even some parked cars could be watching you. Continuously monitoring the environment. Yep, being recorded. How about this one? Nope, not turned on. This one, yep. Hello. Everything is on camera. That can't be legal. I'm never leaving home again. What if I told you that right now, you are being watched? If you're digging my content, smash that like button on this video so the YouTube algorithm bots continue to present our important message to others. All right, guys, we are at the uh, Poway Post Office. Some people call the town Poway. I believe it's called Poway. Quite generally, we're closed. Huh? We're closed. Uh, what time did you close? One o'clock. Oh, you closed at one. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So this one closes a little earlier than the one down the street. I don't want to. Why are you filming me? I'm just filming. I didn't get the authorization. Yeah, I don't need authorization. We're in public. All right, guys. I have arrived at the United States Post Office. Rancho Bernardo station. So this one says it's open till three. It looks a little quiet here. They have a really nice handicap accessible ramp though. A little steep if you're rolling up a hand. So this is a entrance with some very darkly tinted windows. off the older section right there. Good, thank you. Appreciate it.
I'm just filming. You just filming? Yeah. Okay. Um, just try not to come up and film any of the customers. I'm not. Information I'm or anything. Not at all. I understand. Okay. Um, yep. I mean, you can. I guess you can record, but just don't don't get up on people's. I have no plan to do any financial. I can't load up financial stuff on YouTube anyway, so. No, I know. I'm just making yeah. sure we're, we're on the same page. Right You're good. Appreciate it, buddy. So we've arrived at the United States Post Office of Rancho Bernardo. I guess this is the uh, functioning one. What are we doing? What's that? What are you doing? I'm filming. You're not allowed to film in a federal building. Uh, that's actually incorrect. We have express written permission from the postmaster. So knowledgeable manager, but rude at the same time. That's a good job, buddy. Uh, practice your First Amendment. Definitely do that. Yeah. I encourage it. No, I can do this. That's good. Good. So who are you? What are you doing? I don't owe any explanation. No, nor do I. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You have a good day. Do my best. Happy New Year.
So the, the employees here are actually wiling up the customers. I'm just filming. We do uh, travel videos all over the U.S. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you post it on Instagram? Uh, YouTube. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. My son did that. Nice. Yeah, he made a lot of money. He wish he could go back. Oh, I'm sorry. Tell him to get back into it. <laughs> Hide your no, not at all, actually. I'm out in the sun. I don't just film indoors. I'm out in the sun all day, so I get burnt really bad on the back of my neck. Yeah, because it so, could cause people concern you looking like that. I understand that, but do you say the same thing with people that are wearing head or toe dress with religion? You have no idea nowadays okay. what they look like and what okay. their intentions are. All right, well, so do you if, have any identification? Your... What's that? Do you have any identification? I absolutely do. Can I see it? Absolutely not. And why is that? Because you were in a federal building and these are all regular okay. civilians. And I understand but I have the right and written permission from the postmaster to be here right now. Can I see that? Absolutely not, I actually can. It's on the wall right there. What are you recording? Poster seven. What happened? What are you recording? What am I recording? Just a video. They go, they go on YouTube. Interesting. So what happens if I say I don't want to be on this YouTube? You don't have a choice in public. So you're in public space right now, so you don't have a choice. So in private, you would absolutely have a choice, but in public, you absolutely don't. And the reason you're taping in a post office is just for... I post travel videos online. Huh, that's interesting. What is your YouTube... I don't give that out while we're working. Um, mm -hmm. If you're still here at the end of the day, we usually finish up about 6 o'clock uh, with the whole area. And then, oh, so um, you're kind of confessing the area, just all checking of it. things out? We do travel videos, like whole travel videos and experiences with talking and engaging with the community. Are you from here in San Diego? Uh, originally, yeah. But now you just travel? Yep. <laughs> Okay. Happy New Year. You too. You have a wonderful day. Do you live in San Diego? Not anymore. Where do you live now? <laughs> I'm not going to disclose that. Well, but nothing wrong. I'm not asking where you live. So. <laughs> you don't ask me where I live. No, I'm not happy with him. Because he does a video. He's in that. Yeah. But. Exactly. He has the right to do that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this is a. First Amendment protected activity. Yeah, well, take a Absolutely. I'll smile. <laughs> Alright, thank you. And if we don't exercise them, they erode. So anytime you don't exercise your rights, they start eroding and getting taken from you. No, absolutely. I, I don't get angry at anyone yeah, for asking I mean, any questions. It's so. cool that, you know, we had a conversation and it was absolutely, so absolutely. Although I was weirded out and I was about ready to do something serious about this, <laughs> but I was watching you. Yeah. I, I don't bother anybody. I don't yeah. respond poorly to people. If they ask in a very respectful way, I, I begin to kind of open up to them. 
most, if you go on our channel, 90% um, of our interactions with people are so positive. Um, you know, we, we have people bringing us water and Snickers and, you know, we Sorry, get to meet. No, 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 you're good, you're good. Uh, you know, we get tons, we just meet tons of people and it's all been a wonderful experience. So we get 10% of the people need to be educated on the rights of people to film in public, but. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm going to have to Yep. So there's a poster right there on the wall. There's four, the, the posters that have like the four pages. The one in the top left corner is called Poster 7, and it gives us express permission from the postmaster of the United States for us to come in the lobbies, foyers, anywhere we could see with our public eyes that we are welcome to come into in public, we can film. Well, we're being, we're being watched anyways. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, there's one. So people often forget about the cameras that are, oh yeah, and most everybody forgets about the cameras that are staring at us 24 seven. Yep. Yeah. But you kind of get desensitized to it. And so when someone like myself comes here, you kind of, you get that jolting realization of like, oh yeah, we are in a, you know, a place where very exposed. Mike Johnson looks exactly like Snowden. <laughs> Mike John Johnson next to Snowden. I I'll have to look. Snowden. I didn't. I'll have to look. I didn't even. Uh... He was telling us all. We didn't want to listen. Nobody listens until it affects them personally. That's where it is. It's 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 we walk oblivious to everything around us. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm all about living life to the fullest. Um, you know, I don't care what the belief is that you have in religion. You're only guaranteed one time here. You got to make the best of it. And there's moments where you forget and you kind of just get in that mundane. And then all of a sudden that year has gone and the next year has gone. And the best way. Exactly. And who have you been? Exactly. And who do you still want to be? Because there's growth every single day. So they're not curious. More. So you responded really well. Initially, I was a little standoffish of how that was going to go, but you went really well. 90% of the people that do decide to ask me a question, it comes off very condescending, very already upset. They've already made up their minds. So no matter what answers I give to them, they're already pissed off. So there's nothing I can say, which is why I give very vague answers. Yes, it's probably a good thing. So, um, which sometimes makes them even more irritated, but I've been doing this long enough that the more information I'm providing and the more condescending they're being, it doesn't fix anything. They've already judged you. Exactly. So when people make contact with somebody, they've already almost always, and very rarely it happens, but very rarely change their mind during the conversation. Wow. So because they've already been, yep. they've already been, they already made a decision, and it doesn't help when the postal workers are over there talking nasty about us and saying things to the customers, and then that riles everybody else up. And so we've had, I've had more situations go crazy because of a postal worker than any of the customers. The postal worker can create the atmosphere in a lobby in seconds and I've had it go completely sideways because of one person behind the counter talking negatively on what we're doing so well unknown is scary it is so when you have but, people who, who are able to assess mm -hmm. and just have a conversation yep. like hey are we cool What's yes absolutely you can, can de-escalate anything absolutely and that's what I'm all about so a lot of the channels that do similar content is that they're all about escalating and getting people fired up I'm completely the opposite, so. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, let's just calm down here. Yeah. yeah. So we actually get people on my channel that comment, you need to talk shit more, you need to, I ain't about that. You know, I'm not trying, I don't intend on making it a bad experience. I am here to educate and make these conversations occur so that, you know, people like her could hear these conversations and understand like, okay, well, maybe I was wrong. They do have a right. I might not like people's rights, but rights trump feelings every time. Oh, oh but feelings, everyone else's feelings. Oh, yeah, no, the feelings always get the cops called on us. So in the last three days, I've had cops call on me like 19 times. And it's... They know you by now. <laughs> yeah, they do. It got to the point yesterday where they just stopped responding to the calls because everyone was losing their mind yesterday, so...
Sir, where were you? Uh, oh, you in Hillcrest. Say, you didn't say... Oh, I, I could see that. <laughs> no, I literally lost my mind yeah, yesterday. I must have been in the moon. Right? I did. It's not good today. Right. Wait a minute. Let's reevaluate this. Did you work all during Christmas? My name is Jack, by the way. Jack, pleasure, Leslie. Leslie. Nice to meet you. Um, so I did not. Um, I do have quite a big family, so um, we adopted a bunch of kids. And, so yeah, it's, yeah, we spend time with them. Oh, that's important. I would expect you to say that. Oh yeah, they're all adults now, but you know, they still need. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know what you're saying. I, I'm sending my package to my son in Japan. And oh, is he stationed out there? Is he? He's stationed out there. Navy. Uh, Marines. Marines. Okay. And, uh, we have, I have a lot of friends that are stationed all over the world. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. If you if you've been doing this, you've made a lot of acquaintances, a lot oh, yeah. of good friends. Oh yeah. So you've got oh, yeah. friends everywhere. That's cool. And hopefully he's out and about. I know uh, for a couple of years people stationed in Japan hated it because they were stuck on base. They couldn't leave with COVID. He goes everywhere. That's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah, he travels, but he gets so deployed. So they were so mad because they were in Japan and couldn't experience any of it. Not even outside the gate. <laughs> so they were like, I remember. I remember. Yeah, they were stuck. He was stuck. He was stuck at a different duty station, mm -hmm. and he was stuck there. And they were crazy. What was your name again? I'm Jack. Sorry. Jack. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the world is crazy. Absolutely. It's a wild place to be. But thankful to be here. Yep. You know. Hmm. And a lot of people, you know, hate on this, you know, this movement. But it's like the more we get rights taken away. The, the the less we realize what we've lost. Wow. And we're gonna realize the fundamental that. things like the freedom of speech and to uh, put a check on your government, I mean, those things are wildly important. So for government employees to be back there freaking out, oh, I don't want them here, oh, they can't be here. It, it, we have the right to check on the government, and they are government employees. Well, they're here for us, okay? Exactly. I mean, people forget that. Exactly. Exactly. You're welcome, my honey. <laughs> oh my God, this is such yeah, a good thing. Oh, likewise, likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Take yeah. it easy, not hard. Have a good year. Yep, Maybe you I'll too. Yeah. <laughs> or if I see you, will you look like this when you're on your YouTube channel? Oh, yes. Yep. Take care. Yeah, you too. You have a good New Year. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> you're wearing, you're wearing, you're um, we're just filming. Um, we do travel videos all over the country. Travel movies? Travel videos for YouTube. So we go to different, uh, we go to shopping districts, we go to post offices, any kind of government buildings, get a look, you know, anything we can take a look at. Um, and post them on, post our experiences and engagements with people online. I'm just filming. Filming what? Uh, we do vi uh, videos all over the country. Who are you with? What's that? Who are you with? I'm not going to answer that. But we're not consenting to being filmed, so who are you? Why are you filming? You don't, you don't have to consent in public. In the state of California? You Absolutely not. You're wrong. You're, you're wrong. wrong. No, I'm not. You are for completely wrong. Nope. For electronic recording of any type, whether it's audio okay. or video. You need to party in the state of California. You, you are you are wrong, and that's for wiretapping laws and phones. That's not wiretapping. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That is video and. You are wrong. I'm just gonna take a picture of you. Absolutely. That's your First Amendment right. We always encourage it. Why are you appreciating it? 
because I spend most of the day outside in the hot sun. But you're indoors now. Okay, I'm not going to change every time I go in and out.
If you're digging my content, smash that like button on this video so the YouTube algorithm bots continue to present our important message to others. United States Post Office, Rancho Santa Fe, California, 92067. It's got a smaller post office box area. This is a smaller town. Holidays are here. I think the holidays are over. Several people had commented that they would like to see a silent audit in a post office, and that's what I'm going to do. So normally I'll greet people, give them a friendly hello. This time I'm not doing that. Now I just set up my camera, and this is within the first one minute of being here. You'll notice a young woman walking in here shortly. She begins questioning, what am I doing? Having nothing to do with my face mask or anything that I'm wearing and only to do with the fact that I am recording in the post office. She can't claim being afraid as she walks right up to me and starts questioning me. May I ask what you're doing? I'm just filming. Why? Just getting some shots inside the post office. Are you a postal employee? No, I'm not. Why are you doing this? I'm just taking shots. I'm, I know what I'm trying doing. to. I okay. asked why you were doing it. Hey, I try why not to talk alone. Okay. Why's your face covered? Because I have the, I'm allowed to... Okay. Are you terrorists? I'm not going to engage with you guys anymore. I'm literally over here minding my own business. Do you have permission from the Postal Service yes. to do this? Yes. What is up this guy? Well, I think he's like a terrorist or something. He's a pansy. He can't even show his face. I just want to see it.
Have a nice day. You too. Happy New Year. If they have the poster seven right here. That is the updated version of the poster seven. Looks like they got some of the new style stamps coming. Those are the 2023 ones. No, no, go ahead, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. They'll be back up in a minute, I'm sure. sure. No, no, you're fine. You're fine.
We just need to have you have it filled out for us. Thank So she's been here longer than all of you guys. Me? Yeah, you've been here longer than both of them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He got mad at her for no reason. Be an asshole, guys. Yeah. That one's yours. This one's mine. Ah, so they piggyback a little. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anyone have just pick up or drop off? Oh, I can yeah. help. Um, it's seven two six nine. Eighty four two. I thought you were a statue. I'm very happy to see you. I thought you were a statue. I'm sorry. I didn't want to stare in case you were real. Then you went into the pickup and drop off. Oh. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Make for one ugly ass statue, though. No, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Thank you. Movie for us? Or hmm? What's that movie for us? <laughs> we do, I'm an independent journalist, and so we do stories, okay. post offices, buildings. I'm just filming. What are you filming? I do a, I'm a independent journalist. So I do stories in the post offices, any public works building. Oh. That was nice. I told her what I was doing. I was very polite to her. And she still went up and daddy told on us. People are very two-faced, especially these Karens. 
People ask, why don't I tell everybody more information? Why am I not honest with them? Why don't I disclose what I'm doing? This is why. Every single time it's the same thing. It doesn't matter if I tell them or not. Their reaction is going to be their reaction. If they are a Karen, they are still going to be a Karen. And then Irony walks in the door. Mask, sunglasses, and a hat. Same outfit that I am wearing to do this audit, as with all of my audits. And no one is complaining about him, but just wait. Filming something? What's that? Are you filming something? Yeah. yeah. What? I don't usually explain it while I'm working, but I'm an independent journalist, so. Now, mind you, Irony is standing right next to him. Hello. Uh, we appreciate that. <laughs> How you doing? All right, you said. We're good. So we just we travel around San Diego. We take video of different uh, businesses, and you know we've been going down uh, the last couple of days here, uh -huh. and we talk about it. We post travel videos online, and oh, cool. so I appreciate the water. Yeah, no it, it was funny. So as you brought me the water, I was like, is he really bringing me water? So at the last location. Um, we were at, uh, over by In-N-Out mm -hmm. and instead of coming out and saying hi, introducing themselves, you know, anything like that, I was laughing because they called 911. The cops came and said, no, they're fine. You know, because the cops already know what we're doing. We've been here for two weeks now doing these. So they're very aware that we're here. And I was like, you know, if, if a business would come out and just bring water or coffee or anything to any of us doing this, imagine the publicity that they're going to get when we post these videos online. Uh, free advertisement how does that hurt anybody you know what's your name so we're with impact media impact media so i'm, I'm solon by the i'm way. jack nice to meet you bud so we're the impact media and i was a little indifferent here we first because at first a couple people you know they're giving us the cam back and then the guy came out and took a, another guy walked over here i was like i was like as you open that door and you'll be able to watch the video later um it'll be up by tomorrow morning i'm commenting i'm like you know you got at least seven or eight salesmen on the floor in a dealership usually you have a sales manager you have the you know a general manager and i'm like i was kind of surprised that a dealership because this is the first dealership we've done we're, we're about to go do them all but this is the first one we've gotten to i was like you would think for that many salesmen somebody would come out and be like hey yeah. <laughs> can i help you with, can i help you with anything or do you you know the, the water is an amazing gesture that's that's by far a huge gesture um yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you have a wonderful day. Appreciate it. Impact Media. So you know how to spell the word impact, right? So we're spelling it with two I's and no A. Impact Media, one word on YouTube. And so that was huge, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So I came... If you need a car, I'm your Hey, so let me tell you this. And I shared this story here. So I actually came here with my wife August 2020. We needed a brand new truck for work. You came here? I came here to this location. And we were looking at his four-door Silverado. Really nice. It was like sixty, no, $55,000 truck, I think. You guys declined us. We had perfect credit. Amazing. Um, we had perfect credit. We had amazing income. Uh -huh. For whatever reason, they were trying, the salesman we were working with was trying to talk us out of a $10,000 cash down payment. And I was like... That's yeah, and so they're like, however, we can approve you for this one. And it was like the base model. I mean, it was a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, you know, in a year, less than a year, I'm going to want to trade this in. There's no point in me getting it. So we left and we went to Ford mm -hmm. that day. So we left. We came here on a Saturday morning. We were here at like 10 o'clock. We were at Ford an hour and a half later, so 1130. And we bought three brand new cars right off the lot in that moment with wow. no down payment, 2% across the board on all three vehicles, a brand new F-150 uh, extended cab, extended bed. It was a $70,000 truck. 
we got a uh, two brand new Mustangs. The convertible is like 48 grand. And then uh, I got my GT PP2, which was like sixty sixty eight thousand dollars Obviously, I don't know what happened with One this. day, and one day, we got approved for all three of those cars when you guys had declined us for one decent truck. You know what I mean? So I was actually sharing that story on here, and I was like, dude, I don't know what was going on. I don't know if they were... I understand on the higher end vehicles that the profit margin starts to squeeze down. Commissions can start getting a little tight maybe. I understand that if you don't get a down payment that, you know, that's additional money that can be lost, but it just sucks that, you know, that kind of money walked out the door here and went over know, to Ford. I don't, I don't know what happened with that so, situation. Uh, what, are you a sales manager or just? I'm a sales guy. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so yeah, I was just, you know, I was curious about it, but I was telling that story and then I was talking about the, you know, everyone's curious nature but lack of contact was kind of surprised me because yeah. normally people come out and contact me whether it's positive or negative they'll come out and contact me yeah. um everyone is just taking pictures and videos back and a, a, just a different story all, all over we do all over so when you when you go look up our channel you'll understand a little bit more we impact we, media with impact no so no a two eyes we stand back here we just kind of mind our own business and whatever happens happens I and i thrive on putting a lot of positive interactions as well so this one will go up absolutely but yeah i just i wanted to share that story with you i wanted to share that story with you because it was you know kind of a <laughs> blew my mind weird. at the time yeah completely blew my mind at the time and it's just like i said an hour and a half later here we go finance one hundred and eighty thousand dollars worth of cars with zero down two percent across the board it was great so um no no i appreciate it hey thanks for being so kind man thanks for coming out and you good luck for you guys good luck Hello, how are you doing? Do for you? Nothing, I'm good. I'm just filming a video. For what? I'm, I don't usually disclose it while we're working. You're, you're filming private property, so I'm curious to know why. I'm on public property filming well, from what I can see from public, so I'm allowed to do that. Okay. All right. And you're not going to share the information why? Can you help me out? Yeah. yeah, so normally when people come out, how they're behaving when they come out, depends on how if whether or not i'm going to disclose why i'm here fair enough so you kind of came a little bit aggressive you started asking you know questions like almost like you're demanding answers it's not going to happen that way not okay. with this so let's start over my name's greg i'm the service director okay how can i help you today i don't need help okay i'm just making a video may i ask why you're filming our company so again can't really disclose that right now okay i'm going to ask somebody to come out and ask you a question perhaps my my tone is not fair enough for you so okay. I can accept that, so I'm going to ask the controller of our dealership to come out and say hello to you as well. All right. Is there anything we can help you with? Not at all. Not right now. Okay. So you're filming a documentary about the dealership. It's not a documentary, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what would you describe it as if you don't let me ask? We, we disseminate news stories and, you know, okay. talk about, you know. Filming a news story about the dealership or about General Motors? Or that I can't get into just yet. Okay. So, so do you think you would be able to get into that? Uh, once we publish the story. Okay. May I ask why you would have your face covered? I I do these all day. It's windy as hell. I get chaps. So. Okay. Okay. Um, there may be a lady that comes out with me as well. Actually, I think I see her coming right. now. Um, I'll let her introduce herself. Okay. Right. Uh, just to ask why. Yep. No disrespect. No, no. I think you can understand why I would ask the questions, right? You're you're good. I, that's why I, I stay over here and bother nobody while I'm doing what I'm doing. So. Fair enough. Just, yep. just wanted to ask. Yep. Give me a little uh, peace sign at the end there. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. How you doing? How you doing? My name What's is up? Ronnie. Jack. Just one of the managers. Nice to yep. meet you. Hi. Uh, just some people are kind of nervous of it because uh, they're doing their little tests over there, so. I, I'm before. definitely not uh, interfering. I am staying <laughs> way out of the no, way. I, no, I see that. Hi. I see that. And yeah. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, just some of the testers get. They're already nervous as it is because they. No, no, that I get, and so. Um, I was over here originally, and uh -huh. which is, um, I didn't know it was the, the testing line. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I figured out that that's what's going on there, I moved over to this side to kind of focus on this side. So <laughs> that way it wasn't, okay. you know, 
Uh, this appeared to be the site where they're doing vehicle inspections. And Are you testing more of the drive test portion? Or that I was, I'm just going around. Um, when I, I was taking some outside shots here, and then I'm going to go inside, do a real quick run around, and then, then I'm done. So. Are you going to go on the inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, for the inside, if you could just go ahead and remove your glasses, take off your mask, or if you want to leave your mask on to see the thing on. If you're going to record so, inside, mm -hmm. uh, which is perfectly fine, yeah. but it depends on where you're at because some areas are private. No, no, I don't I don't take any like videos of the tests and stuff. I, I'm not going to remove any of this because okay. there's no law that says I have to remove that. Um, but I will absolutely not cross into testing areas. I don't normally even get up to yeah, the counters and get the shots wherever you guys keep the handbooks and whatever accessible papers you guys Perfect. have. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'm done. That's fine. So yeah, this is kind of a that. side stop for me today. I was actually going okay. down that way. So, you know, I just wanted to get some shots while I'm here. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, I'm not bothering good. anybody. I did have a question exactly. though. Exactly. And, and that's why I told him, I was like, look, he's perfectly fine. He's not bothering. Just more for information. Like I said, I, like I said, I'm approaching you to see what you're trying to. No, no, you've been nothing but professional and cordial. So I appreciate it. Yeah, I did yeah, have one sure. question though. Yeah. The guy on the moped, is he here to do his M1? <laughs> um, depending on the CC, there'll probably be an M2. Uh, what is the M2? Uh, it's less, uh, under 125. I know, but what is the difference in the license? Like, what are the requirements? It just depends on the CCs. Yeah? Yeah, it depends on the CCs. So, if you, to get an M2 on a license, you actually, I didn't know that was a thing. I th I, I've heard of M1 and then does it. Yeah, C it depends on the CC of your, of your motorcycle that you're testing. Hey, so is it an easier test then for less? No, same test. Same test? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. They're on the city highways and byways. Okay, so here's a question then. So, if you get the M2, that doesn't give you the ability to, to ride M1, right? Correct. But if you have an M1, you could do both. Correct. Okay. Yep. So if you're doing the same test, why not do... <laughs> Seems to me. <laughs> All right. That's a... I didn't know M2 existed, so... A lot of people ask. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know M2 was a thing, so that's new to me. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. If anyone knows anything about the moped, please tell me about it. So we're just going to go in here and check out real quick where the uh, handbooks are left at. I just want to make sure the handbooks are accessible. So, I don't know where they go. Oh, here they are. It looks like they have them all right here in one corner. So, yeah. This is way more organized than the other ones I've seen. This is way more organized. Yep. I haven't seen them that organized in a while. <laughs> How you doing? I like the puppy. Yep. <laughs> I'm just filming the... <laughs> I'm just filming the whole thing. My job is boring. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. You know right? Yes. So we're we're only on YouTube. What is the, what is the, uh... We're with Impact Media, so with two eyes... Impact I, Media, that's I, the name of it? Impact, but with two eyes and no A. Two eyes and no A. Media. Yep. Media, media, media. Why So I don't think she passed her test. She's very sad right now. I feel bad. But make sure you get the proper training before you take your test, guys, because there's enough people that don't know how to drive out here actually hurting the people on the motorcycles. So it's definitely good to be able to drive and uh, know, how, know what you're doing. Just for the protection and safety of others. So yeah, she's very upset. So I'm not gonna stay focused on her or anything. So 
so I think he's going to switch spots with her because she's too broken up. down. He's just going too slow, man. So I'm getting a cam back right now. He's giving me a cam back. <laughs> Figured I'd say hi at least. <laughs> hey, Don. All right, that was different. She might come out and talk. Looks like. Hello, how are you? I just see you. How are you doing? Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. 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 Are you filming the store? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Yeah. May I ask why? So, since you're being really pleasant, <laughs> I don't mind explaining. Um, we do travel videos, and I post up at each location, get people coming in and out for a little bit. Okay. Uh, most of it gets time lapsed. If we have any interactions, okay. we film those as well. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, how long do you has have this a one? Card? No, I do not. Oh. But how long has this one been here? A year. A year. Yeah. I like how. So. Can I ask who you're with? Im Impact Media. Okay, and you don't have a business card? No, we do not. Okay, all right. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, of all the thrift stores that we stop at, this is the first one that actually looks like a decent, like a little department store. So it's so like. I refuse to be, I'm one of the owners. Okay. I refuse to be your typical thrift thank store. Thank you. Yeah. Bye, thank you so much, have a good day. And so we, you know, we do what we need to do to make that happen. Perfect, no, it's a great concept. I like the displays, I was actually, Con I, we do commentary on top of the video, so I was actually mm -hmm. talking about how cool the display in the window looks. So, okay, yeah, all right. And you said you're with Impact Media, yep. What's your name, Jack? Jack, nice to meet you. Likewise, all right, thank so you so much. So, on uh, Impact, it's going to be double I M P C T, no A on Impact okay. Media. Can, if I give you a business card, can you send me a link so that I can just check yeah. it out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. absolutely, okay. not a problem. All right, guys, um, because she was like super friendly, I'm going to go ahead and show the name here. Daryl's Modern Trends. That was one of the owners. Um, I like how they have the insufficient in. I don't know if that's part of their signage or not, but that's cool. But I'm... Uh, Awesome. You and go. your email's yeah, on here? Email's on okay, there. perfect, perfect. Um, so, could I just see the face real quick, just so that I know what I'm dealing I, with? <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> okay. We leave everything confidential and private on our end, and yeah. So, you have, but you have nothing to show me that you're out here doing something that's like cool or. I do not. Okay. So. I guess go on faith. <laughs> yeah, I'm, learn I'm learning you can't always do that. Yeah, that, that's sometimes true, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, but let me ask. Okay, what would a concern be? Well, I don't know. I just, you know, I mean, I'm I'm new to the whole business game. I just want to yes. make sure that I don't have any, you know, any issues. And you know, I just want to make sure that it's that you know you're not doing anything that you shouldn't. I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
All right. Uh, I gathered a lot from that. No, I understand. Oh. I don't want basically, you know, who knows? It could be anything. Okay. You know, you won't so, demask so I can see what's going on. And we've had some run ins with some shady no, no. So characters. You in, know what I mean? so. To maybe put a little bit of these. If I was doing anything nefarious, I wouldn't be standing out like a sore thumb. Um, True, but you also have a mask on and sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, mean, I can't see yeah, yeah. who you are. Regardless, so we've been working in this area for about three weeks now. We travel yeah. all over the country. We're leaving here, I think, about 13 more days. So, we'll, okay. we're still going to be doing the area. Today, I was in Mission Valley. This is my last stop of, uh, you know, this okay. section. Um, we did that section in the beginning of the couple weeks that we were here. So... People have called the police on us for being out here, and the okay. police know exactly what we're doing here. They okay. they, they get called all the time. All right. um, so I don't know if that helps comfort you or not. So it's, it's Impact Media with two eyes. Yep, Impact Media, two eyes, no A. Um, we are on. Uh... Okay, here, hold on. <laughs> As I'm trying to be smart. Okay, hold on, hold on. Forgive me, I'm sorry. Yep. No, 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 you're fine. So I, I... MPCT? Yep, exactly that. Media, one word. Media. And we do travel videos. And they, we get a lot of uh, reaction videos as well. So depending on how people react to us, depends on how the video turns out. So we get good reactions, positive reactions. We get negative reactions. We get police called on us. It all goes up as is. Um, so we are actually blowing up on YouTube right now um, okay. because of you know some of the reactions we get. It's really good when a yeah. So it's really good when the owners come out um, and engage in a positive way. All that can do is positive promotion for your business. Period. At the, the okay. end of the day, that's all it can do. Okay. If you come out acting a fool and demanding answers and acting like you know you're owed answers, then we shut down completely and we end up getting really good reactions from it. Um, and obviously those don't go well for you know those businesses because okay. you know if you're gonna walk around and eh, high and mighty and think that everybody owes you an answer then you know you're gonna get what you get you know what I mean okay. um, our intention is not to you know ruin anybody's day we're out here you know this okay. is what I do full time okay. <laughs> um, and then like today we're it was funny because uh, we, we we were uh, I don't remember where, Mission Valley mm -hmm. so I was on my way to like a dealership where we we're gonna do one at the dealership and I was talking about how some business owners once in a blue moon will come out and they'll like offer us coffee offer us water and they have the friendliest conversation and they end up getting tons of positive reviews online because of it yeah. um and i was laughing i was like you know what it's been a while since somebody did that i get to the dealership the guy brings out water i was like see <laughs> well, damn it. so no 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 i was gonna ask if you wanted a water or no no or i mean <laughs> no no your your interaction's been wildly okay so do you have the youtube app no i do Pull they it do. up real quick, and okay. I'll just so you can understand a little bit more. And okay. Then, then you'll have context if that'll help. Yes, that would help a lot. <laughs> okay. So if you type in the I I M P C, sorry, my finger doesn't bend that way. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, uh, okay. No, not that one. Uh, so this we have like nine channels. This is the okay. one that's the newest. So there it is right here. Yeah. So, I mean, you can kind of, you know, just look at the last couple of videos. You can kind of see that, you know, we get good and bad reactions. If you okay. if you get a few minutes, watch one of them. So some oh, of them yeah. are wildly entertaining. Yeah. Too bad you were here yesterday. Somebody was getting towed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. They went in and they shoplifted at Goodwill. Oh, no. They came out while the police were investigating a stolen car. Damn. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah. Anyway, it's all good. Never a dull moment. Right. Are, exactly. Are you, sure you want something to drink? No, I'm good. I, I, he he stocked me up for the day. So. All right. Thank you. I appreciate your kindness. You guys have a wonderful day. Okay. Yep. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see yours up tomorrow. Huh? Make sure you subscribe. Your video will be up tomorrow. So. <laughs> Perfect. You have a good night. Thank you. you too. Yep. Good luck on the business. Thank you. Yep. So it looks like somebody's coming to talk to me. What's that? What are you doing? I'm just filming the building. What for? Um, just filming it. I got the other side with the graffiti on it. It's yeah. Like, what are you making? We do travel videos. Oh, who's we? Well, I own a media company. I do travel videos. Oh. But yeah. Okay. I have people that work for me. <laughs> yeah.
They were just like, people are getting a little weirded out. Like, why no, no, no. It's, uh, I'm only going to be here for like two or three minutes, and then, uh, then I move on. That was different. Um, so I've been approached by some really big dudes. I was like, damn, this motherfucker's going to pick me up with one hand and just done. I've never been approached by somebody that was that built, but also as intimidating as a mouse. You've been here longer than both of them. Oh, I take your picture. Thank you. Well, I can see that. Hey. <laughs> Are you a postal employee? No. Are you Tara's? I'm not going to engage with you guys anymore. I thought you were a statue. I'm very happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to stare in case you were real. <laughs> Or something. They just have menus taped to the uh, the doors here, and that's pretty much the only signage that we got. What are we doing there, bud? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm just filming. I, well, I can see that. Yeah. What for? <laughs> I Seriously? Make, I make videos, travel videos. Oh, right on. on the air, so, yeah. I'm not from Pontiac. Yeah, I was going to right? say, uh, there's no signage or anything, so. So the funny thing is, if you turn around, it's a one-way street going that way, and it's a one-way street going that way. <laughs> so everything drives away from the front door. So I, Perfect. I had it all piped in to do a sign, and I was like, well, for what? Yeah. For the guy across the street that can see it. But Do you have the signs on the other side? or? No, because all these trees grow in, and you can't see our patio. And what's your name? My name's Kevin. Kevin, my name is Jack. Yeah, um, are you the you. owner? Or? I am, yes, sir. Perfect. And so what, what do you guys offer in here? It's all American cuisine. You know, steak, seafood, salads, pastas, the kind of all across How long the have you been open? Two years. Two years? Two years. Two years. We're owned in the area with a full liquor license. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. It was ple pleasure to meet you, man. So that was nice. You came out. That was a very positive interaction there. Um, good to see that on occasion. This is a one-way street going that direction. Now, I think I would have done at least a banner or something. Um, cycle it out with some specials or something on it once in a while. But um, good call. Good call. I'm not wasting money if you get started. That's a great call. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next spot. So we'll get the... Uh, What's that? You're freaking everybody out. Okay, I was gonna be gone already. He said he called the cops, so I have to stay here. So now I have no choice but to stay here. So that's not on me, that's on him. I told him what I was doing. I explained everything to him. He was really polite. And then he said, well, if you're not done, then I'm gonna call the police. Okay, now I have to stay here. I so if you didn't come out cussing at me and yelling at me, I would probably break that down to you just like I did with him. But you were kind of an yeah, asshole. Okay. You, you can start throwing that around all you want, but I'm doing a job that I get paid to do, period. So you guys can think nefarious shit all you want, but if you grow up and approach people with some respect, well, you can get a different answer. I don't need to respect somebody who's wearing a mask and sunglasses. Okay, all right. So there you go. Then I don't need to give you any respect, jackass. That's fine. Okay. You get what you get in life, man. Yeah, Really? Yeah. You're a jackass. No, I'm not. The cops will be here in a second. And they're gonna and they're gonna educate all of you. Yeah, okay. That, that's a, I, I deal with this multiple times a day. Yeah, because you're wearing a fucking mask. Okay. You're recording inside of a public area where there's kids. All right. Down. Yeah, because there's tons of kids in there. Perfect. There's three in there. Okay. Right there's a middle school right there. I can't even see inside the building. Yeah, people are ignorant. Thank you for watching Impact Media, your go-to educational channel for all things public filming. We hope you found our content informative and engaging. Remember, your support is crucial in spreading our message far and wide. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. By doing so, you'll help us reach more people and make a positive impact in the world.